So to wrap up this chapter, we're going to do a couple summary just to run through a couple of the most important things that we have here. Everything on this page you should know and not just know, but really have memorized and understand it. We need uh, understanding of this because these concepts are going to be built on in significant ways in the next coming chapters. And if you don't have these, you're going to have a gap in your knowledge and your gap in your knowledge is going to keep expanding and expanding and things are going to get harder and harder. So it's better to put the time in now and understand what's going on. So also, I would recommend that you understand the names for these. So when I say Ohm's Law, what does Ohm's Law mean? V equals IR. And Ohm's Law, you can change each one of these around to find another one. So V equals IR can also be I equals V over R, like it's written here on this slide or there's a whole bunch of different combinations of that. So Ohm's law is an important one. The definition of current, current equals the change in charge over the change in time. We also know that the direction of the current, the direction of the flow of the positive charge. So the electrons are actually flowing backwards in the circuit like we talked about briefly. Again, we calculated out in the opposite direction, the direction of the flow of the positive charge. Electrons have negative charge. Um, positrons have positive charge. So we're actually looking at the flow of pos um, the positron. So for charge transfer, that's the next one that we have. That's saying the charge with respect to time equals the integral from negative infinity to whatever time you're looking at of the current dt. And that's essentially from that um, the slides that we have. Remember the, the, the two graphs, one of current over time, current with respect to time, and one of charge with respect to time. And remember how they kind of move in opposite ways as char as the um, as a circuit begins to charge more, less current goes through it. So that's the one that's important there. The rate of change of charge, which is delta Q, is going to equal to the Q, the charge at time two minus the charge at time one. And another way of saying that is the integral of um, time two to time one of the current at that given time interval. Voltage definition is voltage is the potential energy difference prefer between unit, uh, potential energy difference per unit charge. And again, you can think of voltage if you're looking at the water analogy as there's, there's a difference in pressure at the top of a water tank than at the very bottom of the water tank. And that difference in pressure in water is determined by the height. In voltage, we're looking at the potential energy difference per the unit charge. Passive sign convention is another one that we reviewed through here. Passive sign convention is showing on whatever device you're having, whatever component, a resistor, a capacitor, an inductor, whatever component you're using, that the positive side goes on the front of it going towards uh, the incoming current and the negative side goes away for devices that are consuming power. So like a resistor it takes power out and converts it into something else. Now, if you're giving power, then you want the exact opposite. You want the negative to come first and then the positive to come last. And again, this is just a standard convention that electrical engineers have picked so that we can all communicate using the same symbols, the same circuits, the same idea and uh, methodology. And then finally, we have the equation for energy. W is the integral of zero to infinity of P of T. And we're going to go more into that again in the future when we're calculating different energies. And it's very useful for calculating heat and circuits and how to do uh, thermal placement later on. So if you have any questions about any of this, uh, feel free to ask uh, in class or to come to office hours or shoot me your questions in an email. And I'll try to answer them and maybe make a couple other uh, additional slides to go through stuff. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave you to some problems and hope you understand the material. Thanks, guys.